Baka now! I doubt it'll stop with Finley! Come on, we gotta move! No. Asking me? That's your machine out there. Something must have gone wrong. This isn't part of the programming sequence. Yeah, well, you could have fooled me. Can't you just shut it down? It's overriding the command. Somehow it's issuing itself a new one. What the hell does that mean? It thinks it's on a real search and destroy mission. It won't stop till it finds us. You mean it won't stop till it kills us? Hey, any ideas you have on how to stop this rampage would be greatly appreciated. It's just not possible. No, just building giant mechanical war machines armed with every weapon known to science. What could possibly go wrong? Your sarcasm is real amusing right now. I'm sorry. I get a little testy when I'm being shot at. Look, our only concern right now is getting out of here alive. You're telling me? Lady, that little robot of yours anticipated every evasive maneuver we made out there. That little robot, as you call it, is the most advanced, artificially intelligent machine ever created. You know what? I'm getting real tired of hearing what this machine can do. Why don't you start telling me what it can't do? Not much. Great. All right. So we can't get away from it? How do we stop it? You don't happen to have an A-bomb on you by any chance. I left it in my other pants. <laughs> Just do it.
Derek, get a hold of Honolulu. Tell them we need to get above or around the storm. Pronto. Right, sir. Honolulu, this is 197, 197. Come here, please. Not feeling well, huh? No, I'm not feeling very well at all. Boy, I could sure use a drink right now. Sorry, Marion. This is a government charter, not even peanuts. But let me check here. How can you be so calm in the storm? Here you go, scotch or bourbon. Just relax. It's pretty hard to bring one of these down due to just bad weather, no matter how fierce the winds. I know, I know. I was just thinking how ironic it would be to have come this far in the project, only to see it go down the drain, so to speak. Will you please chill? Here, have another one on me. Look, Marion. Our work is safely stored in the hole. When we get to Sydney and add the final programming, we can bury that incident in the desert and reveal our creation to the world. We'll be front page news. Let's just hope it's for the right reasons. To the project. <sighs> Salud. It's too bad your daughter couldn't be here. She worked so hard on the design. She'll be along as soon as she's finished the conference with the Joint Chiefs. Knowing them, that could take weeks. Let's hope not, for her sake. Well, when you next talk to her, thank you for the booze. <laughs> Unfortunately, Captain, that's still a bit short of our problem. I've never seen storm clouds go this high before. It's a first for me too, sir. What? I'm not sure. We're ascending, but the storm's still with us. You said you were an expert. I thought... But there's nothing to worry about. Sh should I start worrying? Not yet, but keep your seatbelt fastened. Where are you going? Talk to the captain. Be right back. to go much higher, Doctor. If I do as you say, we can stall out. And that's when the fat lady sings. Then, Major, I suggest we try and circumvent it. Sir, that could take us hundreds of miles off course. And at the rate we're burning up fuel in this headwind, we would make it to Fiji, let alone Australia. So, we can't go back, above, or around. I guess we're going through. That's right, Doc. I suggest you return to your seat. Tell the others it's going to be a little bit more than bumpy from here on out. Point taken, Major. Please advise me if there's any change. You'll be the first to know, sir. So what are we carrying down there anyway, Major? Even if I didn't know, I couldn't tell you. It's top secret. Right.
done for. Yeah, feel better. Oh. Back to you. All right, let's have it, Major. Still no word, sir. Nothing. What about satellite recon? Any photos? Negative, sir. That storm was massive. It covered everything in a radius the size of Texas. And the transponder? That's the odd thing, sir. According to the latest from Intel, it stopped transmitting at 2308. Now, that's just minutes before the plane dropped off radar. That's impossible, Major. The black box is fail-safe. The pilot couldn't turn it off, even if he wanted to. Nevertheless, General, it's off. We got a carrier sailing at full speed toward the area where we last had them pinpointed. Good. I've contacted Foster's daughter, Susan. She's already on a transport headed towards Honolulu. Storm's abated somewhat. We'll be able to fly her out to the carrier as soon as she touches down. Thank you, Major. Yes, sir. Excuse me, General. I know this was your personal project and that Dr. Foster was a close friend of yours. I, I... We can't presume anything here, Major. For all we know, that aircraft could have gone down on any one of a thousand atolls or small islands in the area. And with such an important cargo on board, we just have to find out what happened to that aircraft and its passengers before anyone else does. Understand? Absolutely, sir. You're right. We'll find them. Work. You just said my name in front of a witness. I told you not to do that. Look, look, I, I wouldn't say anything. I appreciate that. 
Uh. Whoa! What the hell was that for? Relax, Shane. The room's soundproof. Just keep packing it up. What is that? Rourke's work. Oh, you jerk! That is not a part of the plan! He opened his mouth. It's his foul up. Now let's go. Sightseeing, Jack? Not really. Well, you weren't thinking about leaving without us, were you? Well, I was thinking about it. I didn't sign up to fly in this soup with a bunch of killers. Who else do you think would hire you to fly in this crab? Now fly the damn chopper. Here. Maybe this will ease your conscience. You don't have time to count it either. Where are we going? Up is all you need to know, pal. All right, well then, fasten your seatbelts. This could get rough. Can you fly in this? What? I said, can you fly in this? No! Wonder. There's a private landing strip on Manolo. We'll land there. We'll never make Manolo. I'm paying for self-confidence, Jack, so just get us there in one piece. One piece of what? Fly the damn chopper, Jack. General, I was on my way to see you. We just received a faint GPS transmission from a point 350 miles west of Fiji. Black box? No, sir. Frequency's too weak. Intel says it's coming from a small island in the archipelago group. Check it out. Yes, sir. And uh, Dr. Foster's already on a flight to the Conroy. She should get there just before dawn. Good. I hope she knows what she's doing. Well, so do I.
Oh, yeah. What are we waiting for? Let's get the hell out of here. Where are you gonna go, pal? Just sit tight. Yeah, chill out, Shane. What, do you got reservations someplace, or what? Well, at least the rain let up. Yeah, it looks real cozy. Where are you going, Jack? Shane, there's a first aid kit behind my seat. Get it and get your ass out here. All right, it's okay, it's okay. Who'll kill us? Turn it off! Turn it off! Stop! 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 I can't turn it off! Here's the kit. Get it. Save it for us. Dead. Well, what did he say? What happened to him? He was out of his mind. Who knows what happened to him? I know this. Come morning, we give this bird the once over and we get the hell off this island. Agreed? Let me get this straight, Admiral. You want us to chop her in and retrieve a couple of robots? That's correct, gentlemen. And how are we gonna do that, sir? Put in a couple of D batteries and ask them to come along nicely? If they somehow become activated, I'm afraid it won't be that easy. Activated? I'm begging your pardon, sir. Just what kind of robots are we looking for here? <clears throat> I'm going to defer that question to Dr. Susan Foster. She and her father were instrumental in the development of Robotalian. Robotalian? What's that? Biomechanical shock troops designed to lead the first wave of attack into the most adverse military situations. Hear that, boys? Looks like we're about to be replaced. Figures. Machines taking away more jobs. Not taking jobs, Captain. Saving lives. If we had these prototypes during the Gulf War, we could have cut casualties by as much as 85%. My father was on his way down to Australia to give these machines their obedience programming when his plane went down last night. So does that mean we have a couple of crazy machines wandering around this island looking to kill people? Not crazy. Very, very smart and capable of learning from their experience. And being that they're equipped with lasers, infrared cameras, and a rolling arsenal of weapons, they are, of course, incredibly dangerous. So then why don't we just go in there with a bunch of heavy ordnance and blast the hell out? Well, first, because this is not a mission to destroy, it's a mission to retrieve. Secondly, because any ordnance you could carry wouldn't even penetrate their armor. Doctor? A 50 millimeter round from a rocket launch will cut through a tank. Tank, maybe. But not these machines. We've created a new alloy from a titanium cobalt matrix that is literally impervious to anything short of a 5,000 pound bomb. So, Doc, if these things are activated, how the hell do we stop them? Let me show you. Screen on, please. Here's what we're looking for. Hey, my kid would love that for Christmas. Well, it would no doubt be his last. Unless, of course, you also gave him one of these. The beta laser rifle. But it takes a sustained shot to cut through the outer shell and short out the interior matrix. And then what happens? Then we get these things back to the lab and make sure this never happens again. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Gear it up. Chopper leaves in 15 minutes. Double check weapons. Good luck. Thank you, sir.
Did he have any ID? I checked his wallet. He's some kind of a doctor. What's a doctor doing way out in the middle of nowhere? Making a house call? More importantly, was he alone? And what was he talking about, turning him off? Shut up. Let's get out of here, honey. This place gives me the creeps. I'll go check on Jack. When do we fly out of here, Jack? We don't. Rotor transmission bracket is cracked. You gotta be kidding me. When you landed? Probably. You sure won't fly? Well, if you want, I could get it to spin a little for you. Can you fix it? Yeah. All I need is an arc welder in about three days. You don't happen to have a spare one, do you? Oh, that's funny, Jack. Just do what you can. You now, there's a radio on board. Could call for help. The cops, maybe? Bad idea, Jack. All right. The chopper's out of commission. Oh, great. First we get rich, and now we're gonna die. Relax, baby. We'll hike inland, see what's here. Maybe we'll find somebody. Yeah, like maybe the same person who ripped apart that dead guy. Yeah, well, dead guy or not, he got on this island somehow. Maybe that's our way off. Jack, come on, we're moving out. It's all the same to you. I'd like to stay behind and try to rig this tranny bracket. Yeah, well, I can't let you near that radio, Jack. You're coming with us. You're coming with us. What about the money? Give it to me. Was our ride. A ride? For Christ's sake, Rourke, is that all you can think about? She just got ripped apart, and we're probably next. Relax. 
I'll get us out of here. Yeah, and just how are you gonna do that, smart guy, huh? You can't buy or bully your way out of this one this time, can you? I'll figure it out! Yeah, and how many people have to die before that happens, huh? Just shut up, you two! You hear that? Look. Look, hey! 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 We're here! Would you relax? We don't know who they are or what they want. Well, I don't care who they are. They're a way off this rock. Who knows how many more of those things are roaming around this island. I say we move out. Go for it, baby. Not for anything that gets me away from you. All right. All right. Let's move out. Hey, how about a spare pistol for me? You'll get it when I think you need it. Sir, Admiral Harrison on the line for you. Thank you, Captain. Take it over here. So, Doc, why send the helicopter back? It's just a precaution, Mr. Kirby. Yeah, who knows, Kirby? Maybe Mr. Robot's learning how to fly a chopper. <laughs> yeah, gonna learn how to get its fat ass into the cockpit, though. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's move out. Cage? You locate that GPS blip yet? Yeah, it's faint, but a half mile that way. I don't remember seeing any wreckage when we flew over that area. Yeah, it's weird. Kirby, how's that gun? Just fine, Major. Ready to fire. All right, ladies, gentlemen, let's move. Does anybody bring any bug repellent? You got an insect problem there, Curb? I hadn't noticed any. Well, they're eating me alive, for Christ's sakes. Fly, right, Curb, take it as a compliment. Million flies can't be wrong. Oh, funny man, Saunders. A regular riot. Hey, shh. Major, what the hell is that? Looks like an old pilot safety tower left over from World War II. Yeah, this whole area was a hotbed of activity back then. You think there's an airstrip on this island, Major? Maybe at one time. But after 60 years of neglect, I doubt you can land a crop duster on it, let alone a 747. Major, we gotta change the direction. This way, just northwest. Come on, everybody, let's move out. the heavenly paradise you just promised me turned into living hell. Oh, I am sorry. It's not like I planned this. You're sorry? Really? What for exactly, huh? For getting us here? For killing some guy for no good reason? Or for just being a complete and utter jerk? Will you lay off? Pleasure. So, Mr. Pilot Man, who do you think we are now? A chopper we're following is U.S. military. My guess is this island's some top secret compound. <laughs> well, that'd be just our luck, wouldn't it? Good going, Jack. Great place to land. Hey, pal. You're still breathing, aren't you? Well, Shane isn't. Hold it. Keep it down. What? You hear that? Yeah, I think it's coming from up here. Come on, come on.
think they're after us? I doubt it. You don't call in the army when you rob a cruise ship. What are they doing then? Well, they're in scout formation. I can tell you that much. Do you think those machines belong to them? Maybe. Then again, maybe they're looking for them. Either way, they have a chopper. Say we go down there, introduce ourselves, maybe bum a ride. Not so fast, Jack. I said we find that chopper ourselves, and you can fly us out of here. Nuts. You think the army's gonna leave a chopper like that laying around without posting a guard? Yeah, you let me worry about that. Look, you so much as shoot a garter snake, and you can fly that thing out of here by yourself. That's big talk, pal, especially coming from an accessory to grand theft. That's right. Big talk. And I'm going down there to talk to those guys right now. No, you're not. No, Rourke. Go ahead, shoot me. In the back, if you'd like. You'll never get off this island. I'm with him. You look like a used break, Doc. I'll be okay, Sergeant. We gotta keep moving. Must want those machines of yours pretty bad. That's correct. There's great potential for disaster here. How's that possible? The island's deserted. That won't stop them from trying to get off if they've been activated. All right. You win, Jacko. Thought you'd see it my way, Jungle Boy. Mark, what about the money? Just be cool and let me do the talking. This ought to be good. Oh, my God. Well, would you look at that? Dad! Doc, Doc, come on. You said yourself, this could be a very volatile situation, so let's just calm down and take this one step at a time, all right? Sorry, Commander, I just... There's no need to explain. I'm just trying to do this right, okay? Kirby, get that gun ready. Yes, sir. All right, everybody. Let's move slow. Doc, stay behind us just in case. Major, I... Please. Major, you getting the same vibe about this as I am? I think so. This plane didn't crash yet. Nope. There's no fire trail, no broken trees, no sign of impact. This plane was dragged here and hidden. Ah, I was kind of hoping this was going to be a cakewalk. Nope. Well, Doc, I believe your mechanical warriors are up and running already. This hull shouldn't be here. And beg of the Major's pardon, sir? Neither should we. Stow it, soldier. I understand. Well, it's obvious to me that this plane didn't come down here. Something dragged it here deliberately. Dad. Dad! Damn it. Ricks, you stay here. Dad! Easy, Doc. Paige, take her back outside. No, I've got to find my father. Kirby, go upstairs and check out the cockpit. Yes, sir. Anything, Doc? <sighs> Anything? No. My father's not here. Now there's Dr. Trent. They could still be alive out there somewhere. No. You can't go out there alone. If they survive somehow, we will find them. I promise you. You don't have to see this stuff right now. Come on. I can't. I can't go. There's too much at stake here. Major, I think you were right. I think those robots were activated during the flight somehow. I think they managed to bring down this jet and they landed it as well. But that's impossible. No, it isn't. I helped create those things. 
You see these wires? They've been stripped clean, almost surgically. Why the hell would they do that? Maybe they needed some spare parts. Yeah, but what for? God only knows. But I can assure you of this. They are trying to build something. Major, two dead in the cockpit. Blood everywhere in. And what? Well, it's kind of odd. All the wires and equipment have been gutted. Nothing's left but the seats. Yes, sir. Check the others. Who the hell are you people? What are you doing here? We're on a film scout. Film scout, huh? With guns? We were told there were wild boar on the island. Why take chances? How the hell did you get here? By chopper. You have a helicopter? Where is it? Lady, I wish I knew. About two hours ago, I got carried off by a couple of things that till now existed only in my nightmares. So you've seen them. Where? About an hour's walk that way. No. We are not going back there to show you the way, so don't even ask. Did you see anything else? Any possible survivors? Yeah, we did. Some guy just after we ditched in the storm. Well, where is he? Well, he was hurt pretty bad. He died last night. We buried him this morning. Did he tell you anything? A name, anything at all? No. We found a wallet with an ID, though. From Dr. Trent. Come on. Major, if Dr. Trent somehow managed to survive that crash, my father could still be alive somewhere. As I said, we're gonna do our best to find him, but this is a big island, and those machines aren't gonna make searching any easier. If they have a helicopter, we've gotta find it and destroy it as soon as possible. Why is that? Because if those robots have enough time, they could customize that aircraft with parts from the jet. They could be off this island in short order. You don't really think they can do that, do you? One of those things coming down in a populated area could kill thousands, uh, tens of thousands of people.
How is he? Can't tell. Definitely going into shock. We gotta get him out of here now. What about the laser gun? We don't have that get out of jail free card anymore. Let's go. Get him up. Okay, where is it? And why didn't it come after us? I don't know. Any ideas, Doc? Seem more preoccupied with whatever's in the plane than it was with us. What would I want in the plane? I mean, sir, you said you ditched your helicopter last night. What was wrong with it? Broken rotor. Why? That's why it didn't continue the attack. It wasn't coming after us. It was trying to replace that broken rotor. We just happened to be in the way. You mean... They're building a way off this island. Any word from the team, Admiral? Well, it's been four hours since our last transmission, sir. But I need some sort of update to give the President. Well, I wouldn't advise that. You could jeopardize the mission. How so? Well, before she left, Dr. Foster told us to minimize radio contact. I, I don't understand. Well, sir, if these robots were to be activated, they could easily detect our frequencies and triangulate the team's exact position. I see. Well, Admiral, may I remind you that if we've not heard from them by 0700 tomorrow, your time, you know the orders. I'm well aware. All right, keep me posted. He's fading into a coma. I can't do very much for him here. So let's take him back home. With what? We were dropped off. Huey's back at the carrier. Oh, well, that's just great. This just gets better and better all the time, huh? Then may I suggest you radio for help? You can suggest it, but the radio is with Ricks and they're both gone. Not that satellite link were cut off. And the chopper's coming back when? They're not. If they don't hear back from us that the robots have been neutralized, they're gonna assume the worst. And exactly what is the worst? My superiors don't hear back from me by 0700 hours tomorrow morning. They're gonna nuke this whole little garden spot into eternity. <laughs> oh, that, that's just great. That's wonderful. So uh, when do we start swimming then? So what you're telling us is we need my chopper just as much as those goddamn machines. That's absolutely right, Mr. Hansen. Well, then I suggest we go get that chopper back. And fight those machines? That's crazy. No, I'm staying put. You do whatever you want, sweetheart. I hear that radiation gives you a nice even tan. Oh, that's just great. That's wonderful. So, so we have two choices, huh? We fry or we get torn apart by those overgrown can openers. I suggest that we go back to where you guys landed and we begin the search there. What about your man Saunders? Who's gonna carry him? No one. He's dead. Okay. We'll bury him here, and then we'll move out. Well, this is it. Home sweet home. How do you know that? That grave over there we were telling you about. They could be anywhere by now. I hate to bring up the obvious, but what do we do if we find them? Without the laser rifle, there's no way to stop them. There might be. I know it's a long shot, but there's a small photosynthetic pad on the upper surface that commutes ultraviolet rays into energy. It's about two inches in diameter, covered by a small red grating. Now, if someone can get close enough to get a shot into that pad, it would paralyze the motor sensory system and blow the core. Where exactly is this thing? Just above the visual ports. So what you're saying is right between the eyes? For all intents and purposes, yes. Well, if we're gonna do it, let's do it. Because it's gonna rain. Yeah, it looks like we're in for another big one. 
All right, to save time, I suggest we break into groups of two and meet back here in an hour. Sounds fine to me. So if you find the chopper, stay low, stay quiet, and get back here. I don't want anybody to be a hero. You understand? All right, Cage, go with Hanson. Doc, you're with me. And you two. Watch out for the wild boar. Excuse me, General. We just received a transmission from the Conroy. Admiral Harrison reports a tropical storm, category two and getting stronger, headed straight for that island. As if they didn't have enough problems. Did they make their 12-hour report? Still no contact, sir. They could be staying silent to avoid detection, but it's hard to say. Well, notify me immediately of any change in status. Yes, sir. Flyboy. Yeah. So exactly who are you people, anyway? You heard the story? Yeah, right. Film scout. Hell of a per diem. Where'd you get that? When your buddy Rourke went to take a leak, I uh, took the liberty of doing a security check on his luggage. There must be over a million bucks in there. More like two. You need a military advisor on this movie? from a robbery. I gathered that. Nice haul. I was just hired to fly the helicopter. It must come cheap. You are ex-military, right? Not many civilians could have run out and grabbed Saunders like that. Yeah, I used to fly gunships in the Gulf War, Somalia, some other stuff. OK. It's an old story. Good soldier goes bad. Let me guess. You punched your CO, got drummed out, and took off for the islands. Close, very close. Start a little charter business, times get tough. You go broke and some crooks offer you a handout, you take it. How am I doing? What are you, goddamn psychic? Ah, that's what they tell me. Yeah, well, you're not. Because you don't know it all. You know, Doc, there's an old Chinese proverb that says, the way to pain is lessened when shared by two. My <laughs> major. I'm surprised. A military man like yourself reading the I Ching. I think it was a fortune cookie I got it off, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Nevertheless, I thank you. My name is Susan. Susan. I'm Richard. Pleasure. Your name suits you, but uh, your line of work certainly doesn't. Well, you know, when we started work on this project, the idea was saving lives. Yeah. When was that? Oh, I guess it was the late 60s. My dad was stationed in Vietnam, witnessed the deaths of hundreds of young soldiers thrust into the most horrific confrontations. That's still happening today, let me tell you. Well, he had a vision, a robotic first line of defense. It would not only prevent casualties, but it would almost certainly discourage any kind of aggressive attack. Perfect soldier, huh? Yeah, technology finally caught up with his vision. We were able to create the first two prototypes with funding from the SIC. The Senate Intelligence Committee? Take it they're not too high on your list. Men in suits telling men in uniforms what to do? No, I don't like that. Yeah, democracy in action. They rushed us into production to meet some trumped up deadline. We should have had more time for testing and put in more fail safes. Now look what's happened. Yeah, your perfect soldier's gone AWOL. Boss. You know how to use one of these? Roger that. 
stay right here. Don't move. What's that all about? Maybe he went to get an umbrella. Come on, let's go check on work. Stay with me, hon. Stay with me. It's okay, baby. You gotta make it. Yes? Hey, you gotta help him. He's hurt really bad. Just move over just a little bit, okay? We'll do something. It's too late. There's nothing we can do. Yeah, you, yeah, you can. Hey, listen to me. Honey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? No. 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 Come here. Come here. Can you hear me, honey? Can you hear me, baby? Money, he could have probably afforded health care. Stow it, Cage. Major! I thought I told you to stay put. I did, until one of the robots walked right by. I, I know that it saw me, but it just kept right on going. Which tells me there's something more important here than killing us. You see which way it went? Not exactly. I know it went down into a little valley about a half a mile away from where I was standing. Can you show us? Not a problem. Good. That's probably where they took the chopper. It's gonna be dark soon. Let's get moving. Cage, Hanson, help the girl up. We'll come back later and get him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, sweetie. We gotta move. We gotta, we go. gotta go. We gotta go. Let's go. Come, come on. Go. Decks and bash those choppers down. The storm's gonna get worse. No, Hi, General, they have missed the second scheduled contact. We have not heard word one, nor has our sister ship. Then I suggest you scramble an F 18 and take that place out right now. Wait a minute, General. This weather could be running havoc with their communications. They have at least 10 hours. These are good men in a tight situation. Let's give them the benefit. Under ordinary circumstances, I'd be inclined to agree with you. But the situation here is perilous. If those machines become sentient before their restrictive programming, there's no telling the damage they could do if they make it off that island. General, I understand the gravity of the situation. However, the president gave us to 0700 tomorrow to finish the job. I want you to honor that order. Honor those men who are risking their lives in the field to complete this mission. Very well, Admiral. We'll adhere to the original time schedule. But if we haven't heard anything by 0700 your time, I want that island pulverized. Yes, sir. God, it all 
look so different in the dark. I can't be sure. Okay, Doc. Take your time. That's it. It's the way. You sure? Yeah, I am. Keep moving. <clears throat> Major, hmm. the girl's pretty messed up back there. I'm aware of that cage. I'm thinking she might become a liability, sir. You okay? You have great. Well, for what it's worth, I'm sorry about your boyfriend. Yeah. Hey. Check that out. Hey, Cave. Yeah, come on. Great. If we don't find him, at least we can stay dry till the big weenie roast in the morning. I'm sorry. I was positive this was the right path. It's okay, Doc. We'll just go back a bit. We'll start again. Come on. Hey, look up there. That's got to be them. Come on, let's go check it out up there. Remember, everybody stay low. Wait a minute. I'm not going anywhere. You guys can go where you want, but I'm staying put. Listen, miss. You're a civilian, so I can't make this in order, but I strongly suggest you start snapping out of it. You don't stand a chance out there against those things alone. Those things aren't my problem anymore. They're yours. They're everybody's problem, lady. And I'm not going to risk our safety so you can go trekking out there alone. You got it? Chopper, that's what they're doing. I doubt it, Mr. Hansen. If anything, they're improving it for greater maneuverability. Hey, what's that other one up to? I can't see. I got one question for you. What's that? How are those oversized beer cans gonna get in it and fly it out of here? He's got a point. They're gonna fit in the cockpit, so what are they doing to it? What's this now? Small. I, I need to turn this way. Put on fire unless you know you can hit it for sure. Yes, Major. What's it doing now? I don't know. This is way beyond my knowledge. Thing out. No, 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 no. 
half. Can we get them both? Go ahead. So where's Big Daddy? We got lucky and he ran off. Not a chance. Probably waiting for us to make a move on that chopper. Yeah, you're right. Why go looking when you get the perfect bait? I admit that copter's looking pretty good to me right now. Well, I hope I can still fly it after they've been messing with it. God only knows what they've done to the controls. Andrew, what are we gonna do? You're pretty good with that rifle back there. Think you can do it again? Yeah, no problem. Good, because Cage and I are gonna go down there, try to draw this thing out, see if we can get it facing you. If we can, your deal is to hit that patch and take it out. Got that, soldier? Yes, sir. Good. Where's the doc? Just over there. I don't think she's doing too good. Excuse me, gentlemen. Be right back. Susan, I'm sorry, but I, I had no choice. I know. <laughs> you know, something Dad always had a joke about. What was that? The servant would one day become the master. The master, eventually the slave. Cage and I are gonna go back down there. You stay here with Jack, you'll be in good hands. Yeah. All right, you ready to move out? Yes, sir. Good luck. Step out and say hello. Yes, sir. Yes. That's what we're gonna do. You still got that flare gun on you? At least say we shed some light on the subject, huh? Sorry, Major. I couldn't get the shot. 
Forget about it. It's not your fault. I sent the doc back to the cave. Let's move on. So, doc. Yeah. Think this thing's gonna come after us? Before yesterday, I would have thought it was impossible. I believe the robot's reasoning matrix may have evolved way beyond our expectations. So what you're saying here is that this thing might be after a little revenge? You took out its companion, you ruined its plan to get off the island, yeah. Well, the bigger question is what the hell are we gonna do? It's already 0400. We don't get our collective asses off this rock in three hours. It doesn't matter if it finds us or not. Well, if it's out hunting us, can't be guarding the chopper. We don't know that for sure. Only one way to find out. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You guys saw what happened yesterday. Even if you do manage to engage it, we don't have the firepower to defeat it. Wait a minute. We got all the power we need. What are you thinking? The lightning. What are you saying? Things made of metal, right? It's a highly resilient cobalt alloy, but yeah, it's metal. Well, then let's turn it into one big lightning rod. Yeah, let's let Mother Nature fry it. What do you say, Doc? It's just crazy enough to work. What's your plan? Remember the old pilot tower we saw on the way in here? Yeah. It's the highest place on the island. Let's try luring it up there. It's worth a try. One good bolt of lightning could take it out for good. Five hundred on that island, General. Still no word from Tunney or his team. Still bad conditions? Heavy storm action, sir, and it's not about to let up either. God help him. <sighs> General, do you think we should move up the strike? We probably should. But I made a commitment to those people, and I'm going to stand by it. Yes, sir. Just notify me when the bomb is scrambled. I'll call direct from Intel.
They still okay? Yeah. So dry. Wish I could say the same. Where's the robot? Right behind us. Here, Doc. Here's the detonator. Go in that shed and push a button when it's time. I know when it's time. You'll know when it's time. Just go! Killed it? Yeah. It's dead. Okay, people, it's getting light. We've got less than an hour to get to the chopper and get the hell out of here. Come on. in the air, General. I'm sorry, Admiral. I'm truly sorry. screwed up the entire panel. Did they fix the rotor? Yeah, but I still can't get it started. Got any ideas, Jack? Now's the time. I'm gonna try to hotwire it from outside.
might be bad. Roger that, Conroy. We are 20 minutes out from your current position. Well, Major, we're expected. Great. Dry clothes and a solid meal. Something those machines could never appreciate. We'll be back, Major. Another lab, another day. Can't change what will be. Well, you sure can try.